What is it? When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything. I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... Thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. Anytime, Preston. Look. I know I put you in an almost impossible position when I asked you to lead the Minutemen. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me, or for the Commonwealth, or for some other reason. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. If you look at where we were then, to where we are now, I can hardly believe it. Thanks, Preston. Thank you, General. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. What a mess. You should give yourself credit sometimes. You really are one of the good guys. Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know, but I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you, and thanks. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right, enough chit-chat, huh? Have a minute. I, uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You did your best, Preston. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I knew it wasn't all on me but I made my share of bad decisions along the way. I've got to live with that. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you 
made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that, how much our friendship has meant to me. Thanks, Preston. I know that wasn't easy for you to talk about. It feels better finally getting to say it out loud. Thanks for listening, man. I guess we should get back to it, huh?